The work I am presenting today is part of a larger project, Education for Sustainable Development, which is one of six projects that constitute the Sustainable Living Program of the Nordic Council of Ministers. The aim of the project was to move us closer to sustainability being an integral part of all education for every age from preschool to adult learning. The Nordic countries want all pupils and students in the region to have the knowledge and skills necessary for the enhancement of sustainable development, whether the focus is on sustainable lifestyles, human rights, equal opportunities, culture of peace and global citizenship, as well as the appreciation of cultural diversity and culture's contribution to sustainable living. The objective of the current work was to create a knowledge base on the situation as it currently is in the Nordic countries. To do this, a group of experts in the field of sustainability education was created with each country and autonomous area appointing an expert in the field. We also included representatives from teacher unions and teacher students to include the voices of current and future teachers in our work. This was all done to ensure the quality of the research work within the scope of the project. My name is Oliver Patlionsson and I was appointed as the Icelandic expert and was given the responsibility of leading the group of experts. Three years ago, a group of scholars from the Nordic countries, including myself, completed a work on mapping educational policy and teacher education with respect to sustainability education. The current work took off in a sense where that previous work had stopped. This time we wanted to hear directly what teachers are doing in schools and see how that compared to the international policies and implications from scholarly work regarding sustainability education. The work within the expert group was mainly carried out through online meetings due to nature of the project, of course. Different points of view have been discussed, good examples of sustainability education from the Nordic region have been presented and we have exchanged information on the current situation in our respective countries. This has all been done to establish a common understanding of current practices and the challenges that lie ahead. To gather information that could tell us, or at least indicate to us, how the situation is in the Nordic region, we sent out an online survey to teachers in the Nordic region. The survey was sent out in seven languages through teacher unions in each country. The number of responses, although disappointing, gave us an indication of the current situation. As was expected, we saw both positive and negative things. Perhaps the most positive result is that around 85% of respondents say they are doing sustainability education. This is certainly a high number and is something to be cherished. But what about the 50% that do not consider themselves teaching sustainability? Half of them indicate that they do not do so simply because it's not part of their subject. We find that worrisome. The other half not engaged in sustainability education, say they lack skills or time. The biggest hindrance to sustainability education was exactly time, due both to curricula that assigns too many tasks to teachers or to other duties that take time from professional development. We have now compiled a research overview, a continuation of the report that was published in 2021 under the title Sustainability Education in the Nordic Countries. The report presents and contextualizes the findings of the expert group. Our findings do, however, not make for a final destination, not an end where we can rest quietly, but must be seen as the first step of understanding what is being done and what hindrances are in the way of moving further towards sustainability. The survey has opened up diverse issues that are highly relevant for continued or even revisioned Nordic perspective on sustainability. Perhaps the only clear conclusion of our work is that it must continue. There are numerous ideas from teachers across the Nordic countries that must be further investigated and distributed. We need to know more about how students are affected by sustainability education, how teaching fast fashion or environmental awareness in schools, influential students, consumer patterns, 
or how a school garden project influences students' food choices later in life. If Nordic countries truly want to be in the lead towards sustainability, we need to understand better what is being done in schools, why things are the way they are, how we can move on, and we need a vision for the future which can guide our ways. Thank you.